Welcome back. You're watching Business Frontier with Mire Wadi Pesunir Mon. We're here at Bike Specials. Now, Kun Gafka, we talked about the, the development of the bike uh, business in Thailand. Yes. And we checked out the cool accessories and what make a bike expensive. But now let's talk marketing. I mean, yes. you said the market is worth 3 billion baht. Yes. And the segment is growing. There's actually office workers who want to spend money, 15,000 baht, to buy good quality yes. imported bikes. Yes. Now, how do you make sure that they know that bike specials is here okay. and provide what they may be looking for? How okay. do you get the words out? So our strategy is first we have to define our target group, which is I explained before, mm. the middle income, uh, maybe corporate worker around mid thirties who are willing to invest certain money mm. in a quality bike, and then we position our itself, ourselves to to match our target as a bike specialist that we can provide quality bike under a budget for you, mm. including the service. And I think that it's very important for, for us to differentiate ourselves from other, mm. other shops here. And that differentiation would be from first, our expertise in bicycle, and second is the service that we have. And I think that the service can add additional value a lot to this kind of group because this group of people, they really want to upgrade their bicycle to be more professional, mm. but they don't know how, and they don't have any know-how. Mm. And here, our, our, our shop here, our bike specials can recommend you that. Mm. That what kind of bike that suits you, what kind of activity that you want to do, and we have a good recommendation of that. So mm. that our strategy to position ourselves to match the, 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 the target group. So you provide uh, information, yes. help yes. Uh, to potential buyers yes. and customers as well. So, okay. So because we believe that in selling a bike, you're not selling the, only the actual bike, mm. we're selling service attached to that. Mm -hmm. And that is more important because when you ride a bike, when, for example, if you buy a car, okay. of course, you got to have a lot of service after that, right? You got to mm. have problem with that, that, mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. want to change something and here we provide that and that would be the, the additional value. But how do you get how do you get people to know okay. that they can get that information and that service here from okay. Bike Specials? So after we understand the targeting and positioning and segmentation of the mm. market, so then we use that channel to direct communication to the to the our target group. Mm. You can see that our target group would be someone who who want to uh, spend their time in, in leisure time. So we hold a campaign with a, for example, a campaign to, uh, when they have a, even to the mountains, something like that, and we try to, to, to make a sponsorship and do the whole campaign to that. And in, the, in addition to that, we can see that this, our target group also searched from internet. Mm. And that's why we, and that's why we use a lot of digital marketing. And we should digital become, marketing. Yes, digital marketing become more and more important right now mm. in Thailand. We have a design, a website that with a lot of information that you can mm -hmm. check. We have an email that you can email us. And you can see that most of customers that come to a store, they actually first visit our website ah. and come to a store. So, so basically, the, what's, you, you listed several uh, events. Yes providing uh, information online via yes. your website, yes. social, market, social media, yes. social media network Facebook. marketing as well, yes. Facebook. Yes. Now, so what to you is the most effective means of communication? Okay. So I or, I, or all of them combined? I would say the it combination of that, but particularly in the, we have to fo focus on the direct their target, for example, mm. we see that our customer usually they want to bike in a group. Mm -hmm. They have even they have a community bike online community. Yes, yes, ah. and that is a, a, a basically that is a channel that we should go. Mm -hmm. So, so you choose who your customers are. Yes, and then you find them. Yes, on online or wherever. Yes, and then you customize events or activities yes. to interest that particular yes. target group yes. and, and host, say, a, a rally to yes. the province. Yes, okay. that's right. All right, so, so that creates for you what sort of awareness, yes. right, for, yes. for um, potential buyers. Yes, that's very important. Right now, we want to first, we want to create a brand awareness or mm. brand awareness to the consumer and also we want to educate them about, the, about the, our product. Because I mentioned before in, in, this, in the first section that the, 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 we can see that the growing market of important bike mm. and a lot of people come to us that why should they pay more money for a bike? So that is, that is all about the, uh, we have to uh, communicate about the quality of the bike and why make, what makes difference between this bike and a local made bike or okay. the, 
uh, the the more cheap cheap uh, uh -huh. cheaper bike. Uh -huh. So that is all about communication. How you communicate the quality to the to the customer. A lot of times, when when someone buys something new, yes, a car, a new bag. Uh, a new computer, yes, and the friend would be interested uh, because knowing th it's more expensive. Yes. Are the bikes imported or brought in by bike specials uh, are well known to bike enthusiasts in Thailand? Uh, right now, I, I would like, I would say that we we still work on the the brand awareness. Mm. Uh, it's it's uh, the the bicycle in Thailand is such a small community. And we have to, uh, and every time that the, the product get updated, mm. they have to be a communication to, to, to the group. Otherwise, they, they don't have the information. Mm. I mean, what would, how often does one, does the person buy a bike? Usually, it depends. But on average, I would also think that maybe like uh, three, three to four years. It depends. Depends. So it's a, it's a long-term uh, decision-making yes. process. Uh, but however, we, we can see the pattern that when you buy a bike, we not only sell a bike and also accessory. Mm -hmm. And people trend to change accessory and the, the part of the bike a mm -hmm. lot. And that, I think that is a concern, is our main revenue as well. All right, well, what, apart from uh, organizing events, you said online uh, or yes. social media is also yes. all very, very important. What does Bike Specials do to, to get the message out that come to Bike Specials, whether it be uh, bike forums on the yes. internet or, or Facebook? What do you do? We actually create a, a Facebook fan uh -huh. page. We have our own website, and sometimes we advertise our 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 store on the bike community, mm -hmm, such as mm -hmm. a, a web board, something like that. Right. So, what sort of messages do you send out? Okay. The so, new models, new accessories. Yes. Uh, the we we want first of all we want to communicate the more educate. The, the quality of the bike and maybe the news about the bike, mm. updating on that model, something like that. So I think that is important for, I think it creates a lot of value to the customer a lot to, to, to be updated on the new technology or new bikes, bikes or something like that. Mm. And also we also advertise about our service. Mm. Our service because right now people are always frustrated with the, the service of bike when you buy a bike. Really? Well, yes. What's the problem? Uh, Bicycle is like a car. When you use it, there's always a little problem that you need to be adjust all the time because oh. you can see that people they tend to have a different need, like I mentioned before. And they, if you look into each bike, they have a different part they need to be adjust for certain people mm. on their physical uh, body. So they you need to adjust a lot. For example, the seats too high, yes, yes, the handles yes. too high, the chain, gear, and tires, something like that. So we have to adjust and customize to to customer need. Is there a professional service or repair center for bikes in Thailand or in Bangkok? I or there are a few? I think usually the, the, the dealer or the bar usually do that. I don't mm. think there's a specialist for doing a, a mm. bike. Usually. So your main selling point or your main differentiation yes. point you said earlier, are there services yes. provided yes. At, at bike specials? Now, what sort of services do you provide here? From here, we, we actually provide services pre and post purchase. Okay. What are the pre pre purchase services? Okay. So I think that usually for for bicycle store here in Thailand they often ignore the pre pre purchase. I think the pre purchase is very important. The pre purchase service is the giving out information, no customer need, mm. no who customer who who the customer are, mm. who the, they want to use for what for to use. So we have to first we have to talk to the client a lot that what who they are, what do they need, something like that, and then recommend the, the bike that they, that is suitable for them. Mm -hmm. And I think this is very important. Once they, they got a, a bike that uh, is suitable for them, the problem the problem occur after the purchase is much less, ah. much less, because usually uh, customers don't don't know what they want. They just come here and pick the bike that is look attractive mm -hmm. to them. That looks cool. Yes, okay. yes. And that create a problem after because once they use it, they find out that there's a lot of problem that, that the bike doesn't suit them. Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. come back and want to change and they have to pay more to modify something like that. And that is create a problem. That's why we emphasize on the pre-service mm -hmm. to make sure that they got a best bike for them. What are the post-sale services? Okay. The post-service, like I mentioned before, so to be the adjustment of the bike, customized bike to, to the customer. And we also offer the, the, the part 
uh, and spare part for the bike and, and accessory. Because uh -huh. right now, not only the bike, people are more interested in accessory with the bike. I can, uh, there's a lot that uh, accessory here mm. that you can shop around. You said as well that it's not difficult to put together a bike when you, when you import one. I didn't know this, that when you buy a bike, it doesn't come as a bike, yes. like, like you import a car. Yes. It comes in pieces, right? Yes. yes. Um, and the staff here at Bike Specials yes. can all put them together yes. very easily. Yes. So I think that in customer image and customer mind, they, when they think about a bicycle, they think about in one piece. Mm. And they, they think that it's too complicated for them to combine all together. So right now here, we try to show them that putting the bicycle together is not as hard as they think. So we have our staff here, everyone here can actually combine the bike. Right? Really? Yes. Wow. Even though our female staff here, so we guarantee that it does need a physical strength to <laughs> combine a one bicycle. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you are a, a female or if you are small, you can do it by yourself. Right. And we now, can teach you here how to do it. I also noticed, Kun Gavkai, that you have a lot, well, you have uh, male mechanics at yes. the store and yes. you also have a lot of female yes. uh, staff members as yes. well. Is that part of the marketing campaign? Since most of your customers are corporate office workers who are male, yes. um, is that how you, you want to uh, present your products also? Uh, no, actually right now we have, uh, we have, I think more than half of our staff are female and all of them can do uh, can do a mechanic job. Wow. Yes, because we have a course training function because we have a very small store here. So we, every staff have a course training function they can, they can do one thing to other things, including the a, a, a mechanical stuff. Why? So uh, one message that we want to send out is that this proof that everyone can have a bike, a professional bike, and everyone can maintain it, and everyone can, uh, can combine the, the part and fix it by, by themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking about the uh, organization of events and the yes. use of digi, digi marketing, yes. digi, digi marketing and uh, various campaigns and events that, that, that you showcase, I see here that at the store you also have a display yes. of events that, that yes. you organized before. Yes. Um, do you get a lot of um, online word of mouth Yes. when you organize events such as this. Tell us a little bit about that. I think right now, digital digi marketing is very powerful. Uh, especially from the research, we know that people actually believe their friend and family first. You're right. And the second thought that people believe is you. Google. Google? Yes. Ah. Yes. From our research, that first people will ask their friend and family about about the bicycle, and then they Google it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is the two main sources that people believe in, mm. Google and friends. So that is the two channels that we focus on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we focus on the digital marketing channel, Facebook, and we try to use a word of mouth and the event, something like that, to, to spread the news. Wow, okay, all right, well, let's talk competition. Yes. You have uh, bike specials right here. It's, it's not in the middle of the city. Yes. Um, Raminta area. Yes. Uh, are there a lot of other players out there in the market in Thailand? Yes. Uh, I will say that this area, we have four stores, four bikes, bicycle stores. Wow. Yes. And the, the competition right now, we see that uh, we have a domestic market and import market, mm. right? The import market, we have a super premium. That one is totally different. One. Not not in yes, the same play, yes, yes. playing field. Uh -huh. And right now, in, in the same segment, we have a, a quite a bit cheaper source of important mm. important bicycle. Mm -hmm. But we position ourselves is a bit more premium than that. And so that is a main competition that because we want to differentiate ourselves from the from the uh, important uh, the cheaper important mm -hmm. bike. And, mm -hmm. and that I think that is a main main issue right now that how can we differentiate from that because when people come in and we say quite a higher price and then just go to another store. How, how do you make sure they don't leave your stores? So it's, uh, like I mentioned before, we focus on no value in service mm -hmm. that we want to uh, de de deliver service pre and post purchase mm -hmm. and explain to them, educate them about the, what makes us different, especially in the quality of the bike. So I, I would like to say that the main competition right now uh, would be the the lower end of the imported, imported uh, bicycle right uh -huh, now because uh -huh. the higher end would be, there's a big gap between our store and How much are we end. talking about higher end? Like uh, 100,000 baht? More than that. Wow, wow. More than 100,000. That would be the higher end. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, but right now we try to uh, differentiate ourselves more and try to create a higher gap between the lower end okay. to create a, 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 a mid middle market. Kun Kaka, we are running out of time. Um, before we, we say goodbye, what do you think will be key to bike specials growing, expanding in the future? What, what will be key to, to your success in the future? Okay. I think that uh, our key success factor from, from this business area, we can see a growing opportunity here and we try to capture that opportunity. Mm. So uh, one of the key success factors is to be move quick in this market, in the middle market as it's growing fast, mm -hmm. as fast mm -hmm. as we can to deliver the, the value, additional value to them. Otherwise, we cannot differentiate from the what they already have. Mm. So that's too key to be a, a, a quick mover in the market and so to deliver the, the quality. You said a lot about quality service. Yes. So the most important part of, of bike specials, of course, the bikes are important, yes. but your staff, yes. right? Would you say your, your, your service staff are, are one of the key components of the business? That's right, that's right. That's why we have a lot of training system here, the cross training function to make sure that everyone... Are they all know. crazy about bikes? Yes, that's why they are here. Okay. That's why they're here. All right, on that note, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much for sharing your insights and, and passion for yes. bikes with us on the show. And thank you as well for tuning in to Business Frontier. Do tune in again next time when we share with you insights, uh, behind the scenes stories of various businesses in Thailand and around Asia. Sawadee